Hi, super quick update here. Andrew from the future, if you're watching this playlist in order. In that previous video, you may have seen that the Falcon graphics sandbox had some issues. For instance, let me run this right now. This is the ray casting demo. Well, yeah, it's ray casting. Performance isn't so great. About five, yeah, I mean, okay, okay. Uh, let me dial that back. 600 frames per second is pretty good in general, but we can do a lot better. And you'll see in future videos when we get to texture mapping and things, this becomes a real issue. Now, one thing we can do, of course, is run the thing in release mode. Let's do that. Uh-oh. That's not great. See, it's got an issue. Of course, the performance, the frame rate is great. But at what cost? It seems like it's just not working. If we run this again, we'll find that the colors are pretty much random. That's not great. So the issue comes down to color conversion. If I try to find this graphics library, I'm doing some operations to attempt to convert these numbers into um, Vulcan's RGB8 UNORM floating point format. I couldn't find a lot of info on how it actually reads that data back, so hence the randomness. But then I fixed it. And the, res uh, the answer, basically, is to have a compute shader between the data that we're writing and the stuff that goes on the screen. So I'll just run this to confirm that it is, in fact, yep, there we are, we're working. We are at 1300 frames per second, and later on when we do texture mapping, those issues that texture mapping had will not be as prevalent. Of course, there is some variability, so if I go really close, performance goes down, but then, yeah, I mean, it improves. Okay, so, that's one thing. But how did I do this? Well, super briefly, if we go to the engine, the engine will have, where are we? I've, I've still got to fix all this other stuff up, but basically a big array of VEC4s, a pretty big array of um, RGBA. And that is, yeah, what we call the host color buffer that sits in host memory. And then we go ahead, we fill that up. For instance, to draw a line, we, Go right down here, and we just, oops, yeah, construct a VEC4, and then write that into the array. There it is. Now, on the other hand, the frame has a, where are we? A host visible color buffer. And that's, that's basically a Vulcan buffer. That's where all the memory gets sent. So we write it into the array and then we blit the array, you know, mem copy the array into that buffer. Then it's sitting there in VRAM in a storage buffer. But a storage buffer is a one dimensional storage unit, basically that just has all the stuff. And what we need to do is we need to convert from that VEC4 format into the the on-screen pixel format, and that is done in this shader. I'm calling it Blit, and it's super simple. All it does is we have this destination buffer that we write out to, that's an image, and then we have this storage buffer that we read in, and that's just a big array of VEC4s. Then we get the position on the screen, find the index within that buffer, and then just run image store. And that image store implicitly converts a VEC4 into the appropriate image format, and it gets things working fine. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with everyone. I think it's super cool. Pretty happy with the idea. And, I mean, software rendering is now working as expected. So I'm going to be doing some other little updates to this series. For instance, multi-threading, so that we can have a different thread drawing a different polygon. It's probably pretty good and yeah other things it's coming up anyway have a good one as always and i'll see you soon all right bye